the first question in crt chapter motion an athlete complete one round of a circular track of diameter 240 second what will be the distance covered and the displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second children see the diameter is given so first you find the radius radius will be 100 meter okay so one complete circumference one round the person will complete the circumference so what is the distance distance completed in one round is 2 pi r so it will be 2 into pi into 100 200 pi 200 pi distance complete by the athlete in one complete round of the circular track now the question is you have to find the distance at the end of 2 minute 20 seconds so you convert the time find the speed of the athlete you know the distance and the time is given 40 second time is 40 second so we find the speed of the athlete speed is equal to distance by time so 200 pi divided by 40 5 pi is the speed of the athlete now time again we have to change the unit 2 minutes 20 seconds so 2 into 60 plus 20 120 Plus twenty one forty second. So the required time is one forty second. Now we have to find that in one forty second, with the speed of five pi, what distance covered by the athlete? That is your first question. Distance. So distance is equal to speed into time. Five pi into one forty. So five into twenty two by seven into one forty. Solve it. It will be two two zero zero. meter so this is the answer first answer distance now it will be also considered as 700 pi the second question what is the displacement so in one complete round the distance covered by the athlete is 200 pi and in the required given time he completed 700 pi distance so you find that how many rounds are there number of rounds how many rounds completed by the athlete 700 pi divided by 200 pi 3 1 by 2 means 3 complete round and half round now you uh, suppose the athlete start from the point a so one round again the athlete is point a second round third round and after third round there is a half round so half round the initial position is a and the final position is b so this is the required displacement 200 meter so we say that the displacement is 200 meter now come to the second question in second question joseph jogs from one end a to the other end b of a straight 300 meter road in 2 minute 50 second so this is 300 meter distance is given so first you write distance 300 meter and time is also mentioned 2 minute 20 second again you have to change the unit of time minute and seconds so 2 into 60 plus 50 it is 170 second so from a to b the distance is 300 meter and the time is 170 second so the question is what are the average speed and velocities from a to b and a to c so first case from a to b we can easily find the average speed what is the formula of speed is equal to distance by time so 300 divided by 170 it is 1.765 meter per second now come to the second case when he turns around and jogs 100 meter back to the point c so in this diagram now we consider another point c suppose this is c so this distance is 100 meter and this distance covered by that person in 1 minute 1 minute time okay so what is the total distance covered now the person started initial position is a so a to b he covered 300 meter distance again from b to c 100 meter more distance so what is the total distance now we are in the second case okay so distance total distance is ab plus bc that is your 300 plus 100 it means 400 meter 400 meter total distance and time taken from b to c in 1 minute so again the initial time we find that is 170 second so time 170 previous one plus 1 minute so 1 minute again you convert in second 60 second 170 plus 60 230 seconds in this case what is the speed again the speed in this case distance by time so 400 
डिवाइडेड बाय 230 दिस इज 1.739 मीटर पर सेकंड बोथ केस वी फाइंड द स्पीड नाउ ए टू सी ए टू सी वी हैव टू फाइंड द वेलोसिटी सो ए टू सी व्हाट इज द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इन केस ऑफ वेलोसिटी व्हेन यू फाइंड वेलोसिटी राइट द फार्मूला वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू डिस्प्लेसमेंट बाय टाइम so what is the displacement initial position a and final position c it is 200 meter so it is 200 divided by time time already we know time is 230 second by 230 so 0.87 meter per second this is the velocity now come to the third question the third question So while driving to school compute the average speed for his trip is 20 km per hour and on his return trip along the same route the average speed is 40 km per hour we have to find the average speed for the entire trip so first we take first case while driving to school just suppose that the distance is let distance is d distance we assume d and time taken is t1 now it is given speed 20 km per hour so what is the formula speed is equal to distance by time on the basis of that you can write 20 is equal to d by t1 make it equation number 1 okay similarly in the second case on his return trip return trip the speed is 40 km per hour so distance will not change in this case also the distance is d but yes time taken we assumed t2 so in this case the equation will be 40 is equal to d by t2 make it equation number 2 now the average speed what is the formula of average speed average speed is equal to total distance total distance by total time total time so the total distance is d plus d and total time is t1 plus t2 now t1 and t2 you can write from equation 1 T1 is equal to d by 20, and from equation 2, t2 is equal to d by 40. Just put the value of t1 and t2 here. This is 2d divided by d by 20 plus d by 40. Take d common from the denominator side. 1 by 20 plus 1 by 40. D will be cancelled. Then we further simplify. It is 2 into 40 by 3. That is twenty six point six seven meter per second. This is the answer. Number four, a motor boat is starting from rest. So, what is the meaning of starting from rest? Starting from rest means the initial velocity u is zero on a lake accelerates in a straight line at a constant rate of three meter per second square. So, acceleration is given three meter per second square for eight second. Time is also given eight second. how far does the boat travel during how far does means you have to find the distance so s we have to find out now uh, children understood that what equation we have to apply here u a t and s so the equation s is equal to u t plus half a t square if u is zero then this entire term is zero so s is equal to 1 by 2 into 3 into 8 into 8 now solve it simply it will be 96 meter distance question number 5 a driver of a car traveling at 52 km per hour so this uh, speed is mentioned as u okay initial velocity applies the brake and accelerate uniformly in the opposite direction and stop in 5 second it means you can understand case first mention at two case case 1 u is equal to 52 km per hour first change kilometer per hour into meter per second so into 5 by 18 it will be changed to 14.4 meter per second and again you see uh, stops in 5 second so we consider the time is 5 second and stops means the final velocity is zero this is the first case these informations are there so the graph how we have to plot the graph x axis you consider time and this axis you consider as speed y axis in meter per second and this is in second now children see 1 to 10 i marked here the points 1 to 10 and in this y axis i marked the point started from the origin 
to 18 number the upper one is 18 so we have to plot the graph of this case so time start 5 second so one point you just take this one 5 second and 14.4 so it should be above 14 this is 14.4 in the graph paper you plot it properly so this is 14.4 and then join the two dots this one and this one with this line so this is the graph now shade it in any form you can shade this area this area is the graph represented of your case one again in the second case you see another driver going at three kilometer per hour so case two case two u is equal to three kilometer per hour change it 0 0.83 meter per second and time is mentioned 10 second again v is equal to 0 read the question carefully v is equal to 0 again you have to plot this also in the same graph so 10 second see the last point this dot 10 second and 0 0.83 is very less approximately 1 so first point i taken 2 so 0 0.83 this value now join this line so this triangle is represent area of this triangle is represent your case 2 now you have to find that the area covered by the triangle is the distance covered by the car so case 1 case 1 the area of triangle is equal to 1 by 2 base into height so 1 by 2 base you can consider 5 and height this is height 14.4 solve it it will be 36 meter again case 2 case 2 area of triangle it is 1 by 2 into 10 into 0 0.83 so it is 4.15 so the answer is first case it means the car that speed is mentioned as 52 km per hour uh, after applying the brake moves uh, covers more distance compared to the second one this is your answer